In this video I'm going to show you how you can integrate brackets with powers. So let's say for example you had something like the square root of 2x plus 1 and you had to integrate that. So how would you go about doing that? Well there's a simple rule and this is that the integral of something ax plus b raised to some power n is equal to ax plus b to the power n plus 1 divided by a n plus 1 and then we've got of course the plus c and this is valid for n different from 1, uh, minus 1. So if n is minus 1 this formula breaks down, you've got minus 1 plus 1 and that becomes 0 which makes this whole thing undefined. So let's look at our example. So we've got the square root of 2x plus 1. This is equal to 2x plus 1 raised to the power of 1 half. And let's match this up with a formula. This is going to be our n and this is going to be our a in here. See how I'm comparing these and this is going to be b. So if we stick all this into that equation we will get the integral, so we can say that the integral of 2x plus 1 square rooted is equal to 2, substituting for a, x plus 1 and then we've got the power of a half and we're doing a half plus 1, that's n plus 1 and that is 3 over 2, um, so 3 over 2 here, and we've got 2 divided by 2 for a, and then we've got this 3 over 2 again, these 2's cancel, so we're left with 2x, 2x plus 1 to the power of 3 over 2, and all of this is going to be divided by 3. And that's our answer, of course there is a plus c on the end. So what do we do if n is equal to minus 1? If we just move across here, I'll show you how we can deal with that. So if n is equal to minus 1, instead of that rule we're going to use a different rule where we're going to say that ax plus b to the power of minus 1 is equal to, this is the integral, we'll say dx is equal to ln ax plus b over a plus c. So when that's for n equals minus 1. So when n is minus 1, you use this formula. And this formula makes sense because you know that the integral of 1 over x is equal to the natural logarithm of x. So if you had the integral of 1 over ax plus b, that would of course be 1 divided by a. This a would come out as a factor of the natural logarithm ax plus b plus c. That is the origin of that formula, nice and simple. So that's how you deal with powers, um, brackets that are raised to powers. Uh, hopefully this is helpful to you and your calculus has improved a little bit. And thank you very much for watching.